Wow, is it big. Let's turn off the shield uh, visuals so we see what the default visual looks like on it. Wow. Wow. It's big. It's big, but it's not as big as I thought it would be. It looks really good, though. Let's zoom in real close. It's got a lot of detail on it. I like the shape of it. I mean, it looks like a properly shaped ship, you know? Um, so cool. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's go to full attack mode. See where my power levels end up being here. 123, so I'm almost maxed out on weapon. I got 80 on shield, that's real high. Oh, 81. 48 engine, a little low. 53 auxiliary. I don't know how aug if auxiliary is going to be really useful on this ship. With the ability that it has to do that thingy, whatever it's called. I need to sign the button for it. I'm not sure if auxiliary power will help the uh, shield uh, thing, the universal shield console it has. Not sure. Alright, <clears throat> let's look real quick at the specs. We're sitting at a hull of 64,324. That is a massively, massively high hull. <laughs> and uh, my shield strength is not the best, but again, if I got the adapted Mako shield, that has a higher shield capacity. Because it's a covariant shield. See, the uh, regular Mako shield is a resilient shield. But the adapted Mako shield is a covariant shield. So I will have better shield capacity with that shield when I get it. But I am rocking the full th three piece bonus because I'm ha I have all the same things here. I've got the magnetoplasma relays and the heavy graviton beam. Um, so there we go. Movement 40, inertia 1793, flight speed, turn rate 3.1 degrees a second. Let's go to full impulse here and let's see what my turn rate comes out to. 7.7. .7. And yeah, turning is just what I thought it would be. Slow as a dog, pig, whatever thing, animal. <laughs> whatever animal moves slow, that is what this ship does. So that's, that's me turning full out. <laughs> That's how slow it is. Yep. <laughs> Takes that long to turn all the way around. So that's pretty slow. Set up all my stuff here. Got the command abilities um, attract uh, fire and shield frequency remodulation. So that's nice. Fighters. Let's see.
So many buttons, I got too many things. I don't have enough space for everything here, jeez. Yeesh, I don't have enough space. What can I get rid of? Or what can I expand on? Can I go to four rows? I want to let me go to four rows. I want four rows. Well, I'll probably never use the heavy graviton beam. Alright. <clears throat> okay, let's, uh... Uh, it's not really perfect, but at least all my buttons are there. Okay, all right. Now let's see what all this stuff does. First of all, we have the Voth um, heavy fighters, so let's let's launch those. See how many we can get out of here. We got two, so it only launches two fighters. See, that's not a lot, but when it cools down, I wonder if we can launch two more. Let's let's see. Voth, uh, Voth Heavy Fighters. They have a hull of 18,000. Uh, they look interesting too. Look like a very long something. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can launch two more. Okay, we can. So we can launch four at a time, it looks like. But we have to wait for it to cool down 30 seconds, and then you can launch two more. So it looks like we can have four of them out here at once. That's probably... Oh, where, where'd the other ones go? Oh, no, they're there. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then I bet if we launch it again, two of them will disappear. Well, I didn't do anything. But pretty much, it says it right there when you hover over it. Each hangar supports two deployed pairs at a given time. So we can have four out at a given time. That's it. Of course, if we had another hangar bay, we could have eight of them out. But, but that's all right, I guess. Four is not bad. I guess it could help. You would just think a ship like this would have more fighters. So there they are, following me now. Because it does say it's a flight deck cruiser, after all. With the name flight deck in it, you'd think you would have more flight decks. <laughs> Alright, um, it also comes with the carrier, or the, no, the command ability to attract fire. Um, basically a threat generation for yourself. So there's that. And then it has shield frequency modulation plus 10% damage reduction to shields for yourself and nearby allies and plus 10% shield regeneration for yourself and nearby allies. So those are um, those new uh, command abilities they've introduced into the game. So this ship has those two abilities. Um, now the other ability is the console ability. The Reflective shield amplifier. Where's the button for that? Reflective shield amplifier button. Where are you? That's what it's called. Reflective immunity matrix. Okay. Yeah, out of space. Let's, um... I guess we'll put it on row four. That's right there, actually. Okay. I wish, though, it would allow us to have four rows visible. Alright, so we'll hover over this. Shield will last for 20 seconds or until it absorbs 100,000 damage. And, of course, we read about all that, so let's activate it. 
very nice effect. That looks really cool. And I guess it lasts not very long, and of course if you take a lot of damage, and it has reduced my flight speed and my turn rate, I can barely turn it all now. Look how slow that is. So there we go, now it's gone. So I guess you would only use it like in a dire situation. <clears throat> this um, refracting Tetrion Cascade is from my uh, new Kara stuff, I think. Warning, ship is under attack. I've never used it yet, but it's part of the uh, getting to tier five of the new Kara reputation. Okay, so. And then, of course, I have the uh, shield capacitor. That is from the obelisk core thing, I think. Boosts my shield power up a lot, that's for sure. Okay, so it's pretty much this ship is ready to go into combat, kind of, sort of. Uh, let's show powers here. Let's put everything on auto. Okay. Now, I do want to see what this thing looks like, so uh, I do want to do some uh, space action here. I'm trying to think what could uh, what could we do that's really quick. Let's uh, do... See if we can get it in Azure Nebula Rescue real fast. While we're waiting on that, let's go out to sector space. Let's find a red alert. It turns much better in sector space. Oh good, we can get right into one. Now we can see what this thing does versus the Tholians. It looks really good though. I like the looks of the ship, I gotta say. Just that turn that turn rate kills me. Hate slow moving ships. Okay, so. Let's pop out my fighters. Everybody's doing their command abilities. Alright, and um, we just have to wait 30 seconds before we can do it again, so we only have two out right now. The thing is fixing to start, so... Our time here is limited. Stay focused, plan your attacks, and save as many ships as possible. Every loss is critical for my people. Pop out two more. My other ones should be following me, hopefully, if they can keep up. Warning. Ship is under attack. <laughs> High yield transphasic chronotons. Well, through all of that, I didn't even see what my um, Voth fighters were doing. I hope they were doing something, but I didn't even see them. Need to look for them next time. Yeah, it's an okay ship, but it's just so is escaping. so slumbering that. Um, I don't know. Uh, I really like the looks of it, but it's just so slow moving. And then these, these things. Is escaping. I would like more of those things, more hangers.
Well, okay, so that's it in action. <laughs> I tell this warbird is escaping. I'm not sure if my fighters are doing much, but hopefully they are. And I could definitely use that uh, better adapted Mako shield. That'll be a lot better on this ship. There's my fighters. Hey, buddies. Well, interesting ship. This warbird is escaping. Well, it's definitely a <clears throat> interesting ship. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's uh, until this warbird is escaping. It's big. It's slow. It's got some fighters. <laughs> Warbird is escaping. Turn. I can't even turn. Gosh, this thing turns so slow. Yeah, 
I like the looks of it, but I don't really see what's so unique about it. I haven't even used the, uh, I should have used the, um, shield during all that. I was taking a lot of damage there. I should have tried that special shield it has. This warbird is escaping. I just don't really see what's so special about it though because there are other ships that do the same thing this thing does. Other carrier ships, other cruiser ships, cruiser carriers. I don't see the specialness in it. Come on, oh, we don't have time. Urgh. Don't you hate that when you get a five and then you have less than a minute left? If I had the cloak on this thing, I could cloak and I could uh, scan the ship while I'm cloaked. <laughs> I don't have the cloak, though. So close. We had one more tractor beam left. Uh, oh well. Anyway, <laughs> that is a look at the Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. Again, I say I like the looks of it. The ship looks so sweet. I mean, it is just very eye pleasingly shaped. But I don't see the specialness in it. You would think being a Voth ship, it would be a little bit more op, maybe, possibly, at least another hangar bay. Um, the shield thing is cool, but other than that, and it has a cloak, you know, when you get the aceton generator.
But maybe that's what makes it really unique is that you need the aceton generator from the science ship to combine with this ship to have the aceton ability and then the cloak ability and then maybe that is what makes it really special. Because other than that I don't really see what makes it so special. Other ships can do what this thing does and the Voth anti-proton beams are not that special. I mean they're cool but they're not they're not that special. You, you know, you're better off getting like fleet version of um, anti-proton beams or whatever and flying them. The transphasic chronoton launcher, I don't know. I don't really have too many opinions on that. I, I guess it worked okay. But, I mean, there's so many different ways you can make a build that, I don't know, it's probably not the best torpedo. I don't know. Leave your comments, because I don't know what to think about this ship. I'm kind of scratching my head on it. I really am. Um, <clears throat> I will spend some more time with it. I will uh, put my fleet weapons on it. See if I can do anything different with it. And uh, I will try it out in each S STF. I'll make videos for that. Uh, we'll play each STF to get a better idea of how it performs and, op and operates. But... Right now, I, I'm really scratching my head. I just don't, I, I'm having a hard time forming a very good thought process or opinion on this ship. Other than the fact that I like the way it looks. I, I'm just not feeling it. I, I don't know, I'm just not feeling this ship. Uh, so um, anyway, maybe I'm way off base. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that absolutely just love it for whatever reason. Let me know what that reason is because I'm just scratching my head right now. But I will look at it more. This is not the only time we will do more with it. So um, I'll spend some more time with it and maybe learn to love it. I don't know. I'll try. I'll give it a shot. That's for sure. Um, but until then, thank you all for watching and uh, stay tuned. There will be more and I'm auto warping out.